When I first came to this country, the first house was on this street down here, 7825. That's my aunt's house. Yeah. Two dark doors down is my father's brother. Yeah. Across the street where that silver explorer is, that's my mom's brother. And then Sammy Mackey, he lives like maybe on the next block. That's that would my be aunt. my, my aunt's my house. Aunt my, my, great aunt, yeah. my uncle lives just one block down. My sister lives three blocks down. <laughs> It's like a little Arab world or something over here. There we go. Begonias. <laughs> yeah, oh, why is this? It's very Dutch to me. Yeah. Is this a Lebanese garden or an American garden? American garden. American garden. American <laughs> garden, all right. All right. <laughs> She's saying we are no longer in Lebanon, we are now in America. Hello, and Mama. Thank Hello. you. Thank you. Mama, you want to? Stop, man. Mahmoud Dabadje woont al sinds 1973 in Dearborn. Hij kwam hier, zoals zoveel Arabieren in die tijd, om te werken in de auto-industrie. Chrysler, Ford, op en top Amerikaans. Ik heb 21 jaar daar gewerkt. Ik deed assembly line, Mustang. Ik deed werk op de Mustang, ik werk op de engine plant. Did you consider yourself after a while an American? Yes, of course. Yeah, you are American. Especially after I applied for citizenship in 1978 and I became American. Yes, I do love this country. I respect this country. This is our country. I was watching when it happened. I was hoping and praying to God that God don't let it be a Muslim. Why? Because they're going to blame the nation for it. They blame the Arab, the Arab did, or they blame my religion. But if someone else other than Muslim do that, they're gonna say, Tony did this, or Mike did this. They won't say the Christian did this, or the Jew did this, or the Buddhist did this. So they only blame that person. Now, you know, uh, any incident, any incident happened in this country, I, we all pray, not only me, and a lot of other Muslims do the same thing I do. That, oh God, I hope he's not, his name is not Muhammad or uh, Abdullah or whatever. Because if, if his name is Muhammad or Muslim name, we're going to get something back. I don't know if you like, pay attention. A lot of the signs over here are in English and in Arabic. This, the east side of Derwin is a predominantly Arab neighborhood. A lot of people that first migrate to this area will actually come and move into East Derwin. It's kind of not as much of a culture shock to them. Bijna de helft van de 100.000 inwoners van Dearborn is Arabier. Een percentage dat je nergens anders in Amerika ziet. En iedereen leeft door elkaar. De scheiding Shiiten en Sunniten bijvoorbeeld bestaat hier niet. See, we have Lebanon, Palestine, Yemen, Lebanon, Iraq, Lebanon, America. We hang out with each other, we're around each other a lot because we all want the same thing. Which is? We normalize everything. There was a sense of heightened fear in the community amongst Arab Americans, amongst communities of color, of all color, uh, amongst Muslim Americans, that they need to now prove how American they are, prove how patriotic they are. You know, you, there's a lot of tension that comes from the media because of the political climate we have in America right now. Um, a lot of hate being spewed, racism, demagoguery. Good evening, this is a special edition from Orlando, Florida. Today, Orlando became the tragic scene of the worst mass shooting in American history. The gunman, Omar Mateen, was an American who had pledged his loyalty to ISIS. He was killed in a shootout with police. Do you feel that you have to, like, as a Muslim, extra denounce for what they did because you're a Muslim? Many times. It's like every attack that we see happen, uh, and if the person is to be mo of uh, Muslim faith, they, then they ask you to apologize or to denounce that. We already did. 
you know, why do we have to prove our Americanness? Why do our flags have to be larger than everyone else's? I mean, this is the kind of behavior that, to me, um, indicates a, a degree of culpability that we don't possess. So I don't believe that we should be engaging in su such acts, and I believe that engaging in them is very damaging to our community. After you. Welcome. Have you been to this mosque? Have you ever before? Largest mosque in North America as of now. There's one in Toronto, I think, that just opened up that's bigger than it. But I know in America for sure this is the largest mosque as of now. In the week na 9-11 kreeg het Islamic Center of America in Dearborn bijna dagelijks bommeldingen. Dat is inmiddels minder, maar er komen wel veel telefoontjes binnen met de vraag om meer en duidelijker afstand te nemen van terrorisme. Well, we pray for the day that we won't be asked those questions, but we really don't have the luxury of being silent. We are condemning these things continuously, condemning uh, incidents whether they happen here or overseas. You feel like it's and not being heard? It's not being heard, and, and I think there's some sectors, some sectors that don't want to hear it. I mean, there are some individuals, no matter what you say or do, they, ha they have an agenda, um, and they're basically deaf to what you are saying. Frustrating? It, it is frustrating, but we are a resilient community. We understand it's going to be a long battle to really understand that immigrants can be a strength. And, and obviously there's still de uh, some substantial debate about that here. Yeah, I, I don't understand that. If, you know, I'm somebody who likes to look at the data, and the data shows, you know, it has shown that immigrants are great for the economy. Immigrants are law-abiding citizens, less likely to commit crime. Abdullah Hamoud en jeugdvriend Hussein vertegenwoordigen een groeiend aantal politiek actieve Arabieren. Er zitten moslims in het gemeentebestuur van Dearborn en Hamoud is zo goed als zeker van een zetel in het staatsparlement. Hallo, hoe heet je? Ik ben 29, ik heb hem al mijn leven like, sinds elementary school. Dus ik was 6 of 7. Dus so het was. Het is mooi om te zien. Hij won, won de democratische primary, dus so hij won pretty much won it. And when you see somebody who is from your community, who has a name similar to yours, who practices the same faith, it kind of gives you hope that everything will be okay. I mean, for this city to elect uh, an Arab American Muslim, a son of first generation Arab American Muslim, a son of immigrants, I think that sends a message you know, across the nation that we, you know, this bigotry, this racism, this xenophobia is not accepted here. Wow. So I hope you're not a Not at all. What if 9-11 never happened? Oh, we would be in great shape. Yeah? Well, we used to go everywhere, respected, you know. Uh, people love us. Now people look different at us. Unfortunately, 9-11 did happen, and the extremists on, on all sides um, take an opportunity like 9-11 to divide us. Now it's become like Trump and, and other people have, have granted, that it's okay. It's okay to be hateful as long as it's the right kind of hate. It's okay to be angry as long as you're angry at the right person. And I think that if 9-11 didn't happen, the hate would not be so freely expressed.